Hello and welcome to Tech Talk here at the Spanish Grand Prix. I'm joined as ever by our resident technical expert, the science teacher you wish you had at school, Albert Fabrega. I don't know what to expect from this one. We are talking though about track surface. Yep. Of course, in the Formula One calendar, we see varying levels of grip. We see different track conditions, different track surfaces, and we see a different composition for yep. each track as well. We're here to talk about how it's composed and how it is then measured and tested as well. And a lot of question marks, it's, it is a K point because obviously what is touching on the floor is a tire and what is touching on the tire is the tarmac. So it depends on how the tarmac is, affects a lot on the tire behavior and the tire behavior affects a lot of the uh, performance of the car. And the thing is that in every single circuit is different. Not only the quality or the characteristics of the tarmac, also the temperature, the humidity, the age of the tarmac. So there is a lot of factors that change the characteristics of the tarmac and obviously the behavior of the tires on it. And the grip, I mean, wet weather, surely no, we'll play yes. it. Oh, we may see some rain right here. A lot, and the level of grip that is changing always, even during a weekend. So you want to see what it is yes. under the tarmac? I do. We yes. always say it if it's white or it's a little bit black or if there is uh, the macaron roughness or whatever. But see, I brought you here a sample of what we do have under the track. This is the top That's surface. Amazing. Where are we standing on now? <laughs> and Sticky as well. Yeah, a little bit. And under this, we have different layers, you can see, of different stones. Granite like this, you see, this is the lower one that is more the structural part of it to hold the whole thing all together. And we have this kind of granite that is bigger, bigger stones. stones yeah. yeah. But it's also mixed with different kind of stones. And even some dust yeah, over the that, bottom. This is all we have on the top layer. That yes. is the one that uh, the cars are in contact with while we are over. That is smaller granite, as you see. Finer, yeah. Yeah. With also all the components all coming from the same, uh, the same mountain, the same mine. <laughs> and obviously there is something that we need to glue. The lace, yes. there is something more liquid like this. You see, so coffee, don't take a copy of, of this. <laughs> that is, it's called bitumen. And we do have- We can smell it. We yeah, can yeah. smell it from here. And on the top, we have another bitumen that is more solid. It's like a rubber. If you can press it. Oh yeah, that's, it's, yeah, yeah, the compression of that. That the quantity that we mix the bitumen with the stones or with the granite is about 5%. So we mix all together and we put it on layers over the surface of the gas. It makes a big difference in terms of grip, depending on how the percentage of bitumen that we have mixed with so this stuff. the amount of bitumen, I guess the quality of it as well. Uh, I agree. And depending okay. also... The size of the of The granite. size of the granite. Size. Yes. We, we, we have uh, listened for sure many times talking about micro roughness, macro roughness, very easy. Macro roughness is the gap we have between the two granite and the depth of it. So, if we see a tarmac where there is a lot of distance between the granites, we can say that there is a lot of macro roughness. But if we want okay. to talk a micro roughness, we have to go and focus only on the granite. If on it's more aggressive, if because it's more shapes and it's more uh, aggressive, we have more micro roughness. Okay. If it's more rounded, I understand. it's been older or deeper and granite, we have smoother. Less. And that all affects to the grip to the, the grip that the car has on the track. So ultimately, how the car performs, yep. how it behaves on the tarmac itself. Yeah. And even during the weekend, because the, the, the cars used to add rubber yeah. to the track when it's more rubber, so we put more rubber here and it's more sticky, so we have more grip. But it's very important for them to understand how the grip is evolving or how is the, the grip itself in every single circuit, circuit, for example, from year to year that it changes because of the temperature, the climate, or it's been colder during the winter, hotter during the summer. So that affects all the uh, tarmac and, and the properties of it. So that's how it's tested then? Yeah. And all that information is fed back to the team so they can adjust their setup, yeah. optimize their package accordingly. And this is, this is our testing platform. Yeah. This is such a huge take tour. We have two involved. tables involved in this one. We, we first, move then. Well, uh, no, no, first of all, let's go for okay. the, the doggy. The doggy machine. Doggy yeah. machine. Is the, the one that is currently using uh, Pirelli. It is a machine with three wheels, standard wheels and slick tire on front that it has like a negative part to the others. So they just go literally doing a lap to the track and with this front tire that is running a different uh, a speed to the others, they can measure how is the uh, 
resistance, let's say, the negative part of the tire over the tarmac. So they can measure the level of grip of every single meter of the circuit or so even the corners. Each corner? Each corner. And, and how, how much do corners vary within one circuit? Depending on the energy that you put on the tires on that corner, there is corners that is, is difficult to get rubber, for example. There is corners where the, uh, the, micro, the macro roughness is bigger than others because they are more open. Where, obviously, where the cars are braking, there is a lot more energy going down to the tarmac. So it changed it change a lot. And another thing that the teams uh, and Miroli do us is to scan the surface with a, like a pho photocopy machine, a copy machine. They do a scan of the surface so they can analyze uh, what is the micro and the macro roughness of every single corner as well. But Amazing. This is modern things that is difficult to understand. I rely more on the old things. This is what is called a British pendulum, it was called. British pendulum machine. Yes. Okay, then how does this work? We've got, we've got two different types yes. of asphalt here. This is super rough. This is Bahrain. This is Bahrain, a little bit more aggressive. And this is Monaco, let's say. Yeah. But a little bit slippier. A little bit resurfaced and an urban circuit. So what we do have here is like, yeah, ballast here on this pendle that goes all down and here we have rubber. So there is an area where there is a friction all over this area and we have this sensor that it measures at the end of the day how much grip we do have on this area. So if we put the sensor here and if we throw the machine over this area, okay, so it's 80, yes. we have a very low grip area or very low grip tarmac and now let's do one thing let's put Bahrain tarmac on it switch it around turn it around and we should see that it goes a little bit lower so it means that it has more on this way on all this way more resistant. we have more resistance ah okay. yes you see about 110 110 so it means that there is much more grip on this tarmac than this one. We are on 80 on the Monaco one and we are on 120 on Bahrain one. But what happens if it rains? Bring me the water. So we're gonna do a, create a big mess here. But okay. What we're gonna do is what happens when it rains? Will the grip, obviously, can we measure that it goes down? Let's try. They see rain as well here at Spanish yeah. Grand Prix. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe. Who's, who's okay. Safe? Let's try. We, you remember we had 120, 120 110. 110, yeah. Okay, so let's see if the grip changed a lot. Wow. Wow. Even less than Monaco. So 70 with the water. So it means that the grip of the tires or the grip of the tarmac, it went down, it went down massively. That's incredible. Yeah. And we're seeing the tarmac, we're seeing the layers here, but how is it actually made? Okay. This is where the cooking lesson cooking begins. Lesson. So I'm excited for this. You, your ingredients? Yes, <laughs> because on, let's do a, a top layer. Okay. 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 The rolling, the rolling layer. Uh, we have to put a mix of all these little stones. Okay. You, you want to help me? Yeah, yeah sure. That is hot. sure. How can I help? Yeah, let's, let's put all together here on the cooking area. What do, we, what do you need next? What do you need there? All of them? All of it, yes. All of it, every, yes. all of it. Ooh. Crikey, or oh, you've dropped a, a tool. Be careful that this is bad. Yeah. And this very fine dust one as well. Do you know any song to sing? Why? Any well, song, a cooking say, song? Yeah, cooking song, no? I don't tend to sing when I cook. Okay, no? I don't cook you that like much. <laughs> I'm not very good. I like, yeah. I like it, it's quite relaxing. We need to mix I'm it. I'm never at home, to be honest. Okay. We need to mix it properly. Okay. Not sure if we're making a stir fry or asphalt at this point, but I'm loving it. Let's do the con. You do the con. Okay. Now I'll make it cone. I have some bitumen hitting it around, and I have to put the gloves because it's gloves so are coming hot. on. It's getting serious. Yep. And the, now it will be you the, the hot switch? enough. There we are. We'll try. Oh, there's a stick here. You uh, see how sticky yeah. is that? Is the proper glue? Yeah, it, it is. Oh, that's melted well. Is melted well. You look at that. Look at that. Okay, it's not toxic. It could we could think that it's toxic, but you can smell it. it with smells strong. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> let's try. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's put some bitumen on it. Yeah, that's a uh, five wow. percent approximately. Yeah, don't trust on me. Maybe six, seven. It doesn't matter. But more or less, it's like this. So now you can start mixing it. I can mix. Okay. Yes. So. Oh. Now, 
we should be doing like this and mixing it properly to get the proper exactly mixture of everything it's not hot so we will need to heat it while doing this but at the end of the day what we should get is this that is a proper mixture and now we can go and put it on the tamak if necessary so any holes on that track yeah. we're ready we'll turn yeah. them in i'm ready for it we are ready for it you want to collaborate on this project <laughs> this is amazing uh well thank you so much okay. albert there you go it's not just about the cars it's about the surface they drive on as well and how that affects the performance and there you go we've made our very own tarmac here in sector we'll see you again next time <laughs>